I'm just outside of Clam Lake, Wisconsin. I'm heading north to the UP again. And this is one of the roads I travel on. This is Highway G. Well, somebody had a spin out. <sighs> so a policeman down the road there just a little bit told me to uh Pull up to where, pull up to where the wrecker is, and and wait. They're pulling a truck out of a ditch there. Yeah. If you went down in there, you wouldn't get out by yourself. That's for sure. The things you don't see on your way to the UP. Or should I say the things you do see when you when you're on your way to the UP. Seems like every time I come up there's something that holds me up someplace. Well, these roads here have been uh you know, they're icy and they're they're they're, they're sanded, but uh you know, there's still slick spots here and there. I know I don't drive very fast on these roads, but I know there's some other people that whiz by. I'm still on that county road G. Well, looks like we're going to be going again. Yep. to Michigan I shoveled off the roof and then I did a few errands for my dad now I'm just chilling out Diane says I got too much free time on my hands and it's too easy for me to get in trouble and I think I'm getting myself into trouble now um, we decided to put a topper on the pickup truck I've got a Ford uh, crew cab and uh, we're going to put a topper on the back we're going to make it ourselves we're going to try and make it so it looks like a covered wagon so I'm thinking about making it out of canvas but uh, I'm just not sure yet I know I know I could make the ribs you know the the uh, hoops for the canvas and I know I could figure out a way to attach canvas on there you know, so I wouldn't blow off when I'm going down the road. I mean, um, lots of trucks in the older days had canvas, so that's not a big deal. But the thing I'm thinking of is maybe I'd make it out of a, you know, make it into a hard top, you know, kind of an arched hard top, 
and then put canvas on that but I'm not sure which way to go so I'm just in the investigation uh, uh, the investigative side of this thing uh, to figure this out and then the back I don't know if you can see it um, I'd be putting up some car siding and a door for the back and that sort of thing it's about six and a half feet long the bed so it's just enough to sleep in keep us out of the rain if it's raining I mean we're old Civil War reenactors so we're used to canvas and and uh, flies and you know that's how we camp but we're starting to figure maybe we want to stay off the ground a little more so that's why I'm trying to decide if I should make it a hard top or not anyway I'm open for suggestions so if you have any suggestions throw them my way I'm all ears anyway <clears throat> just wanted to talk a little bit if you look down there in that corner that corner right there you'll see a little covered wagon that's our brand for YouTube um, it's easy enough to subscribe for people you just click on that brand and uh, you can subscribe after you've subscribed there's a little bell that you'll notice uh, on the other side about right here in the in the video beneath me would be a bell if you click on that bell then you're notified of all the videos that uh, we put on YouTube so I just wanted to say that too Diane made that um, little branding there of the of the wagon of the covered wagon and um, hey I think it looks pretty cool I think we'll even put a picture of that have it printed on our um, topper when we build it so once again hey if you like our videos subscribe and hey we're I'm open for suggestions for this topper I'd, I'd like if anybody's built one out of canvas or or covered something with canvas I I'd, I'd, I'd be open to hear about it so anyway thanks for your time and I'll see you later bye